The initial service is the most important service that we would provide. The reason for that is it's the first experience that customers have with us as a company. Um, so it's vital that we make sure that that first experience is a lasting, good first impression. Um, that includes as we're pulling up to the house, it's important that as we pull up to the house, we pull up in front of the window, the front window of the house, so the customer sees us as we're pulling up. As we come up to the house, we need to make sure that we're in proper uniform, our shirts are tucked in, our shirts are clean, pants are clean, that we overall have a good presentation. When we first arrive at the home, it's important that we review the welcome packet with the customer. It'll show the customer what it is that we'll be doing on that initial service and the services to come. Um, also at the end of the service, it's important that we re-review with the customer the specifics that we did that day, um, any specific pest activity that we saw, and what they should expect going forward. There are two main parts of the initial service, the interior and the exterior. The exterior service is comprised of five components. Inspection, dewebbing, granulation, power spray, and spot treatments. After talking with the customer, the first thing you're going to do is dewebbing. Um, you're going to do a dewebbing of the whole perimeter up around the eaves. Um, the garages are very important because that's the area where customers are more, most often going to be coming out of the garage, in and out of the garage in their cars. So they're going to see a lot of that activity. So turn your focus to that right away. Come in, paying attention to these tracks of the garage. Got a lot of webs around in there. Now, what you'll notice is there's a little bit of dust coming off this. What you want to do is take a little bit of dust, just squirt it in your duster head, and that allows you, as you're doing the dewebbing, it'll apply that dust in all the areas that you're dewebbing, and it'll help to repel insects from coming back. Go throughout the garage doing an inspection, making sure all webs that you have are removed. Come around to the side of the house that doesn't have the gate um, and start doing your de-webbing here. Um, and then what you'll do is you'll, you'll make your way all the way around to the other side until you get back to this side of the yard. Um, doing your whole de-webbing around that whole area. With the granules, you want to start at the same point that you started your de-webbing, and then again, make that same pass around, granulating the whole way around the house, getting to this corner, and then turning around and going back. Path there, you're granulating the whole way, the path back, you're just doing inspecting. The mulch areas of a house are the areas that are going to be most pest problematic. Um, reason for it is actually the same reason why it's beneficial for the plants. It traps moisture. So having a lot of moisture is gonna bring bugs. Um, so we focus a lot of our treatment in the areas with mulch to make sure that that's not a pest harborage area. Um, and that's also an area that you wanna be doing a lot of your inspecting. So again, I start at that same corner bring myself out to that corner and begin my power spring there. We're going to focus three feet up and three feet out. So on the exterior of the house, what we're focusing on as well as points of entry. Windows, of course, are a regular point of entry. So you want to focus up around the windows, get up underneath them. Kind of spray out from the windows you're doing it because what you don't want is to create a, a residue of product all over the window. Um, another thing that is often overlooked with technicians, when we're spraying with the power spray, we spray down. And the problem with spraying down is you have this lip that's right here 
this lip has uh, passageways for the insects to get up inside the structure of the house. So I want to make sure we're not only spraying down, but also getting up underneath that and spraying up. Now it wasn't until the fourth time around the house that I did notice that there was ant activity. So it's important that we're just continuing to inspect the house. These guys are so little that they're really hard to detect. The interior is also comprised of five components. You have inspection, the baseboard application, entry point application, wall injection, and pest specific treatments. So in kitchen and bathroom areas, you're going to go the length of the baseboards. Follow along the baseboard. You want to kind of do a painting motion, just light sprays rather than a continuous spray. That way you're not getting heavy buildup on the baseboards. Just a nice fine mist is enough to, to control the problems. So throughout the house, it's really only important to target the corners. Kind of go a foot into the corner and a foot out of the corner. Go throughout. Hitting every corner throughout the house. The reason for only targeting the corners is insects not sitting well. Want two sides of their body up against something. So they'll ultimately always retreat to the corners. And so we're able to be just as effective targeting just corners as we would be if we were to spray every inch of baseboard. Entry points again are going to be problem areas. So what you want to do is make sure that on all your doors, you open them up, spray about a foot up, and wrap the band on both sides. And then coming away from the door, go a couple feet or a few feet away from the doors um, in either direction do the whole continuous baseboard. So I've already moved stuff out of the way um, so I can access back here. But what we want to do with wall injection is follow these pipes that are going back into the wall here and take your duster, shake it up a bit so the dust is loose. Find a point where you have a gap in the wall and just put a couple puffs into the wall. Another important part is coming back, following the drain hose from the dishwasher, and injecting the dust back behind the dishwasher as well. Um, We'll have a number of different infestations that will occur back behind the dishwasher, so it's important that, again, we're cutting off that potential harborage area.